Hello, this video shows you how to convert from a hexadecimal number into a binary number. We will convert 8C into an 8-bit binary number. For EDUCAS and WJEC GCSE students, there is a small number placed next to a value to represent its base. 8C has a 16 next to it because hexadecimal is base 16, meaning it uses 16 different values. Hexadecimal uses 0 to 9, just like the deanery system, and then A to F. Hexadecimal only uses single digit numbers, so 10 is converted into A, 11 becomes B, up to 15, which is turned into F. It's a sensible idea to write the A to F equivalent somewhere on your page to remind you. Each character in hexadecimal is represented in 4 bits, so 8 will require 4 bits and C will require another 4 bits. If you've converted between binary and deanery, you will know that we start with 1 and double for the number of bits that we need. Because hexadecimal characters need 4 bits, we double until we have 4 values, 1, 2, 4 and 8. I've reset to 1 and doubled again for the other character I need to represent in 4 bits. You don't have to, but I always draw a dashed line to help me separate one hexadecimal character from another. I've noted that on the left I will represent the first character which is 8, and on the right I will need to represent C, which looking at my notes in the bottom right, I can see that C is equal to 12. Representing 8 is nice and easy as it is just a 1 beneath the 8 and the other 3 values are 0. Representing 12 is also quite straightforward as it is 8 plus 4, so it's a 1 beneath those values and a 0 beneath the 2 and the 1. And that's it. 8C in hexadecimal is equal to 1000 zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero in binary. I've put a small 2 after the binary number in my answer because binary is a base 2 number system as it only has two possible values, 0 and 1. Just a really important note, a hexadecimal value doesn't necessarily need to have a letter in it. In this example, 56 is being converted into binary, not 56. So read the exam question carefully to understand which number system you're being asked to use. It could also be two letters, such as EB or FF. So the small number is really helpful because you know if it's hexadecimal, it will say 16, and if it's a deanery number, it will say 10. Most GCSE and A-level specifications will keep binary values to just 8 bits, meaning you will need to convert two hexadecimal characters. As a bonus, I just want to show how a longer hexadecimal number, 5E0A, can be converted into binary. This will require 16 bits because it's always 4 bits per character. I've started by writing out the 1, 2, 4, 8 numbers for each character that I need to represent. I've written the number above them each as well. Then I just need to convert them one by one. 5 is just 4 plus 1 for a really simple calculation. Next is E, which is equivalent to 14, which is 8 plus 4 plus 2. If it's 0, don't leave it blank. You need to put a 0 for each of the 4 bits. And finally, A, which is 10, which is 8 plus 2. Writing out the answer, you can see how 16 bits have been used to represent 5, E, O, and A. In this video's description, as well as at the bottom of the relevant CS News pages, you can find a link to a Google form to test you on your understanding of converting hexadecimal into binary. Type your answer in 8 bits, with or without a single space between the two bits of 4. The form will mark it automatically and provide feedback for any answers that you got incorrect.